Hey guys, welcome back to the Story of the YouTube channel. For this video, I want to talk about matched content by Google, by AdSense. It is a different type of ad unit that you can put on your website, and it functions a lot like a related post widget would, or a related post tool, whatever word you want to use. Um, it is a program that is by invitation only, and I got invited to it a few days ago, about a week ago, and I immediately implemented it because I wanted to give it a shot. I already had a related post widget on my website, so I thought, hey, I'll just swap out the one that's not making me any money for one that does make me money. And basically, it suggests other posts on your site for people to go to, and you're using the pow power of Google, so it's nice. Obviously, they probably have a better algorithm than whatever free widget you are using to do so. So... It's going to suggest other posts on your website, but also embedded in it is ads to other sites, and they all kind of flow together. They look very similar, so it does increase your clicks, and it promotes people to be going to multiple pages on your site. So, like I said, it is an invitation-only uh, program, and honestly, I might have been a part of it without even knowing, because you have to go into your AdSense settings to see... Um, if you're available to put these ad units on your account and also if you have multiple websites it it'll get accepted on a website so if you have 10 maybe one can have these ads but the others can't um, so it's something you want to look into and check out but the email I got from them just real quick to tell you guys what it's about it says promoting your content with matched content could increase your page views time spent on site and boost your revenue Matched content is a free recommendation tool offering you a simple way to promote your content to your site visitors. By switching on the monetize with ads feature, you can also display targeted, targeted native style ads. In a recent study, we found that number of page views increased 9%, time spent on site increased 10%. Match content is only available for sites with multiple pages and high volumes of traffic. I would assume uh, most sites have multiple pages. It doesn't say how many or doesn't, you know, so who cares about that part? The high volumes of traffic, I really don't know what the threshold to be considered high volume, high volume traffic is. Personally, my site, if I haven't uploaded a new post, that always boosts things a little bit. But if I, if it's just sitting and I haven't uploaded any new content that day, I get about 3,000 page views a day. So that's, I got invited on that. I don't, I don't know how standardized it is. or I'm sure it's automated in some way. But, um, but real quick, I want to show you my website and what these ads exactly look like and talk about them a little bit. All right, so here we are on my website, struggleville.net. And if you look to the right, they have a right sidebar over here. You will see this block right here. I think it's 300 by 600. No, it was bigger than that. Anyways, um, it has all the different links, and you can see that some of them are ads. And so this is going to a different website. This one's an ad. And then some of them are actually my posts. And they're kind of mixed in there. The ads are more towards the top, at least in my scenario. So that's what it looks like when it's in the sidebar. These do not, do not count as an ad unit on your site. So if you have your three uh, graphic ads, whatever they call them, image ads, you can add this also. It does not count towards that quota. Also, AdSense has not said how many of these you can put on your site. So as you can see just to the left, I have it in the right sidebar, but then I also have it at the bottom of every post and page. And um, so anyways, that's how it looks on a, uh, on the, both the vertical and the horizontal uh, options. All right, guys, so I did want to show you on your AdSense account how you can find out if you are accepted for matched content. So if you go to adsense.google.com, click on the, I know it's kind of cut off on my screen, but the little menu button, whatever icon. Under settings, you'll go to my sites and then click matched content. And here you'll see 
my site, struggleville.net, is has a little check mark next to it. Um, and then to create one of these ads, um, I'm not going to be able to actually show you it, but you click on my ads, and then once it's accepted, when you go to create an ad, you will have the option of a traditional ad or a matched content ad. It's responsive, so you don't select the size. You can give it a name, which I would do, so down the road you can check the performance of the ad if you end up making more than one. Um, also, Google recommends putting it below the fold, so below the, the scroll, what um, immediately gets loaded when, um, when a page gets loaded. And it also suggests putting an ad next to it. So you saw mine, there was a regular graphic ad, and then there was the... Um, the list and then I don't know if I scroll down far enough but then below that I had a text ad um, so it kind of all flowed one into the other and just one more thing about the matched content it did take maybe an hour hour and a half for the ads to actually start displaying on my site um, at first it started out as a blank box like a placeholder blank box and then it went to regular AdSense ads which I was kind of worried about because I'm thinking oh crap now my website has more ads than it's supposed to have on it and then it's quickly transitioned from that to actually displaying what it was supposed to these matched content uh, related posts so uh, just keep that in mind don't freak out if you see that but that's how it works guys if you don't have a website man I'd really suggest it because it only costs I think I pay about four dollars a month for my hosting on my website and it's somewhere around ten dollars a year for the uh, domain name so it's a super super small investment uh, you if you use WordPress you don't need any kind of uh, knowledge when it comes to doing source code or anything like that uh, it's a low risk high reward proposition if you can get people going to your site so if you had those questions about match content I hope this helped you out Make sure to give the video a like. If you're not already a subscriber, subscribe to the channel. Thanks, guys.